This is Power Ground Boxing, where we're dedicated to the great sport of boxing. I need you to subscribe right now for another jab of boxing news from around the world, commentary and entertainment with a focus on honoring those of the past and the present who've made a positive contribution to the sport of boxing. This is the second episode of Another Round, and in this episode, I'm gonna be talking about Canelo Alvarez getting the WBC's approval to fight Makabu for a cruiserweight title? Wow. <laughs> Let's start this old up, man. Okay, so I understand that Canelo Alvarez is trying to dare to be great. So he's focused on building his legacy and chasing the title in a fifth weight class. However, I'm wondering if this is good for the sport of boxing because I'm not understanding how he has all these people who are fighting in his division who are great fighters, but he decides to leave his division, not defend his titles and jump up two divisions to fight. Now, I thought that that wasn't even logical, but at a WBC convention in Mexico City, this organization, the WBC, I'm telling you, I think they're in love with Canelo. But anyway, they just approved the request of Canelo's trainer and manager, Eddie Reynoso, to have Alvarez challenge Macabo for the Cruiserweight Championship. Hmm. Now, Canelo Alvarez, he's the number one pound for pound boxer. Right now, he's the face of boxing. And he made history and became undisputed champion at 168 pounds with an 11 round TKO over Caleb Plant. Now, if Canelo gets this win at cruiserweight over Macabo, it would make Canelo a five division champion. Now what's crazy is that Alvarez has never competed at cruiserweight. So in order for him to um, fight at cruiserweight, what had to happen was Eddie Reynoso had to file a petition to the WBC to order the title fight. Now, I really wonder what went into that decision-making process by the WBC. Now for me, that's not, it's not even logical. And it's not logical to me as a fan of boxing. But hey, <laughs> the fight has been approved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm sure they started the negotiation process, but I'm wondering what that split is gonna be for this fight. You know what I'm saying? Probably like a 90-10 split or 80-20 split, but I don't see it being any more than that because Canelo is Canelo. And Makabu is, who? You know, I'm just saying, I doubt it would be more because Makabu, he just not popular on any level. You know what I'm saying? But look, after they strike a deal, then a purse bid um, should be ordered, you know. Now, Canelo Alvarez, he's like 31 years old. Um, he's fought only once at 175 pounds um, with his 2019 TKO victory over Kovalev for a light heavyweight title. He unified titles at 154 pounds and at 160 pounds before that. But there's a lot of controversy about Canelo avoiding the best fighters in those divisions. I'm talking about at 154 and at 160. So let me talk about these weights and things and how things have been moved around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause this stuff is making boxing look weird. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the cruiserweight limit is 200 pounds, but the WBC recently introduced 
an 18 weight class called bridge your weight and it has a limit of 224 pounds so now they reduced the cruiser weight limit to 190 pounds now if you do a little research and you'll see that that was the same weight when the division was first introduced in 1979 but then you know it got increased by 10 pounds i want to say in 2003 or 2004 you know i think this jumping around in boxing that's being done by canelo right now i understand that he's the face of boxing but i think that this jumping around in weight and boxing by canelo especially against makabu is weird you know what i'm saying and look makabu i think he's a top five i think he's number four but um i think he's a top he's a top five cruiserweight he's won nine consecutive um wins uh, since I think he was TKO'd in 2016, he's promoted by Don King. But what's crazy is they just announced that Makabu was gonna fight in January. He was gonna fight against some other fighter. I forgot what the fighter name was, Mo Ching or something like that. But then the WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman, claimed that the guy that Mokubu, Mokibu was about to fight wasn't ready. And now Mokibu is about to face Canelo Alvarez. So if the fighter Mokibu wasn't about to fight because that fighter wasn't ready in January, then why would he fight Alvarez instead, who is already in another division and champion in another division you know what i'm saying it's just it's weird it's just crazy it's like what this is happening but let me know what you think in the comment section if you think canelo jumping around in this division is a good thing or a bad thing you know i'm in different groups online and some people are angry about it some people are happy about it I take it with a grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, look, just go ahead and get your money and dare to be great. So do what you gotta do, Canelo Alvarez, because listen, he is the face of boxing right now. And I think he can do what he want, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of competition within his weight division, but he is choosing not to fight them and he's choosing to jump to cruiserweight. Now, I have never seen this done in boxing, so I'm here trying to make it make sense. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm not willing to pay my money because it's not a fight that I want to see. And I think Canelo is one hell of a fighter, but boxing right now is looking very strange. Listen, when I look at boxing, I view it as the best fighting the best so that we can see who really is the best. You understand what I'm saying? Look, that's just my take on things, you know, but let me know how you feel. I'm saying, are you in love with boxing right now? And I'm saying, that's how we doing it, man. This has been Power Ground Boxing, courtesy of Power Ground Sports, talking about the biggest names in sports and entertainment Reminding you to stay on the grind. I'm saying I'm out of here. Peace.